Here we have our sample project and I have imported my GINT information. I am in 2D space at this point and I have a coordinate system. Now, just to get a reference of where I am in the world and what's going on, I'd like to import a Bing map. GINT Civil Tools is a power product, meaning it is based off of MicroStation and it has almost all of MicroStation's capabilities, including the capability to import and use Bing maps. Bing maps are found under rasters. But before we get to Bing Maps, you do have to do some things to prepare. And one thing, and one thing that MicroStation does is it does work with Bing Maps. And here you can see inside of our communities page how to attach a Bing Map. The first step is to actually create a Bing Maps key. So you ha do have to obtain a Bing Maps key. And in order to do this, you do have to go to Bing Maps and get the appropriate key if you do not have one, depending on your use. Once you do get your key, you can then go in and you can follow the directions as shown here, where you actually create a new configuration variable named MS Raster Bing Map Key. So when I went to my key and you can see I have added my MS Raster Bing Map Key already once I got that key from Bing Map. With that key in, adding my Bing Map is a matter of adding a raster. If I select my raster management, I can select attach and I can say Bing Maps. Here you can see there is my Bing Maps information. I can go in and select the level. I have created a level just for my Bing Maps for this. I select attach and it takes a moment for it to load. And here you can see I have my site plan and I am in Bing Maps so I can see where I am on the earth. I can choose my layers. So if I wanted to, I could choose to aerial to get a better understanding in terms of the aerial plot. And here you can see the aerial plot and I'm in a fairly rural area. And I can also aerial with labels. And that is how I can add Bing Maps and use that to help enhance my visualization. And I can use it for my borehole plan, among other things, and just get an understanding of what's going on before I ever go into the field or even show what's going on around it after I've been in the field.